Banished Tips. These are tips uh, for the game Banished. I wrote these tips. They're available on my website, cheapbooks.cc. So when you start the game, you want to produce food more than anything else because you need your society to survive. So food is the key. and You got to do it as quickly as possible. You're probably going to want to do fishing because you can fish all year round, including in the winter time, and they can leave whenever they want and start up again. And there's no penalty. It's not like crops where if they don't plant the crops at the right time of year, then they don't get any crops. And if, and with the orchards, you have to wait a couple of years before you start getting uh, the fruit to grow, etc. So the orchards have less maintenance than a farm, which means that once they plant it, the next year they don't have to replant. There is maintenance, but it's not the same. It's not time sensitive like a regular farm crop. So orchards can be better at the start of the game when uh, growing food is critical. Don't build too many farms. Because if you don't have enough workers to plant and to reap, then you get nothing. So be careful with the farms. In the start of the game, you want to use wood for fuel. Don't worry about it. You're going to build the coal mine later in the game. Don't grow the population too quickly because they will use all your tools. They'll take all your clothes and they'll use all your food. So be a little bit careful about how quickly you grow. Food is the most important thing in the beginning of the game. Slowly build houses. Build evenly, which means tools will produce more food. So if you run out of tools, you're going to have a food problem. So you want to build evenly. You want to make sure that uh, you have food, some clothing, some tools, Everything grows at the same rate. If you see raw materials in your markets, such as wool, log, iron, leather, you want to have the factory nearby to take those raw materials and produce them into a finished good. For example, this has wool, which could be used to create coats. It has uh, logs that can be used to make firewood. It has leather, which can be used to make coats. So if your market has a lot of resources, make sure you've got the buildings to produce uh, finished goods. You only need one worker for your market, minimum. If your market's far away, you're probably going to need more than one worker. Now you're going to ask, do I put more workers in the center of my town or at the edges? You're probably going to want more workers at the edges, the far away buildings, because they need to go grab resources. If you put most of the workers in the middle of the town, they don't know which market needs the resources, so they're not going to spread it to whoever needs it. Use the save camera location feature to quickly locate your town hall or another area. You see there's a little picture of a camera and you can hit the number one, two, three, four, or five. Uh, it's a useful feature. I wish I had known about it earlier. If your storage barns are full, you need to build more storage barns. So keep an eye on that number uh, and have as many storage barns um, excess as you need. Use the auto purchase option at trading posts. It saves a lot of time. You're going to want to trade manually when you're learning the game. But once you learn the game, you should start using that auto trade option because the boats will come and go while you're working and uh, you'll be able to buy and sell resources. Okay, you see over here we've got these indicators that show that they don't have uh, tools. Actually, that's not what this is about. But there is a tool shortage in this particular uh, town.
place factories and storage near trading posts. So over here we've got a warehouse, another warehouse, <coughs> some storage and a lot of factories, some more warehouses. So the trader is going to bring in food, bring it to the brewery, and then ship it back out. And the same with the firewood and any other goods. Uh, so if you do that, you will uh, make money very quickly because if they're too far away, the further away you are, and it doesn't have to be that far away, but the further away you are, it's going to seriously slow down the rate at which they can move goods back and forth. The mods I recommend are the two-story house, root cellars, sawmill, apiary, and dairy. So you got the sawmill. It creates a lot of firewood. The root cellar stores a lot of stuff. The dairy milk and the creamery is pretty cool. The two-floor houses are good. However, they use more firewood than a stone house. And the apiary, which is a building example, produces a ton of food. If you have a food shortage and you build apiaries, your food shortage will go away because you only need one guy working in the apiary and it produces a ton of food. Okay, so that's it for my Banished tips, which are posted at cheapbooks.cc in the Banished forum. This is what it looks like. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.